We all know how to wash dishes. But when it comes to historic glass and ceramics, what we think we know doesn't apply. The truth is, a great many historic ceramic and glass objects should never touch water. In fact, they should hardly be touched at all. Don't wet clean objects that have gilt, luster, or painted surfaces. Ceramics that aren't glazed, deteriorated objects, or objects that have been repaired. Skillfully done repairs can be difficult to detect, but water will find these hairline cracks and start undermining the repair. When in doubt about wet cleaning, don't. When it comes to cleaning, the first rule is to handle these objects as little as possible. Routine cleaning, dusting with a soft brush, should be done only when there is obvious need. Objects stored in closed cupboards will be cleaned only rarely. Objects to be wet cleaned should be taken to a cleaning area in a padded basket or box. The work area should include a padded work table, adequate light, and running water. If you have sensitive skin, you can wear snug-fitting latex gloves. Otherwise, for sure handling of ceramic and glass objects, don't wear gloves. Check for old labels and painted accession numbers and take care that they are not washed off during cleaning. Mix a very dilute solution of distilled water and Photoflow, Triton, or Orvis paste in a jar. Use a very small amount of cleanser, just enough to create bubbles around the edge of the jar when shaken. Dust lightly with a soft brush. Avoid dusting cloths, which can trap grit and cause scratches. Apply a small amount of the cleaning solution to a cotton ball or swab, and clean the surface gently to remove dust and soil. Replace cotton swabs as they become soiled, and be careful not to scratch the object. Agitation with a soft brush dipped in the cleaning solution can help remove dirt from crevices and decorative elements. Finish using a cotton swab dampened in distilled water to remove detergent residue which will attract dirt. Dry with a clean, dry, lint-free cotton cloth. When cleaning glass and ceramics, keep these key points in mind. Don't wet clean objects that are unglazed gilded or painted, or that have been damaged. Clean as seldom as possible. When you do clean, use a soft brush. If wet cleaning is necessary, use a very dilute solution of detergent. 